Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do this super cute, super easy headband. Really perfect for those days when your hair is in a ponytail or a puff and you don't want to disturb it. This slips right over your ears, keeping them warm and cozy. Now this is a project that I did for a friend of mine and I'm going to recreate it for myself. Very, very adjustable. It can go from infants to adult sizes and I'll just let you guys know how to adjust that once we get started. So I'm just starting with the worsted weighted yarn. You can pick the yarn of your color, your choice. I would suggest that you stay with the worsted weighted. Um, it's totally up to you though. You're going to need scissors and you're also, of course, going to need a hook. Oh, and guys, you may want to use yarn needles, but I'm going to show you, even if you don't have them, how to make this project work. And I'm using a size H hook, okay? That's a five millimeter hook. So real simple, I'm starting with a slip knot. I'm showing you guys how I do my slip knot. I'm taking the short end, wrapping it around the long that's attached to the skein. And then I'm just going to yarn over the hook and pull through. Easiest way I know to make a slip knot. Alright guys, so once you've done your slip knot, you're going to chain. Um, I chained a total of 80, but the average adult size head is 70 chains. What you need to do, whoever you're making this for, just make sure you measure their head or try to guess as close as possible. But again, 70 is normal for an, an adult woman. I may have an adult man's head. <laughs> so what we're going to do then, you're going to go into your third chain from the hook and you're going to double crochet. Make sure you count along the way, guys. And to double crochet, if you are not too familiar with my videos or how to double crochet, it's very simple. Um, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over it, then pull through the first loop, yarn over, pull through the first two, yarn over, pull through the second two. And that is how you double crochet. And guys, your first chain or I have to explain it later. But you're going to continue to double crochet throughout the entire length of the head wrap. Now we are at 10. I always tell people to, if you need to stop or somebody's, you know, you have interruptions, make sure you stop on an even number. I go by 10s. It's totally up to you, but it helps you remember where you are, you left off. Okay. I'm going to continue all the way down. And now that I'm done and I got to the end, very simple. I'm going to show you guys how to continue. You're going to chain two. I'm going to turn your work. And guys, your chain twos on these count as a double crochet, okay? So this would be your first double crochet. You're going to go into the very next you're going to go into the very next loop and what we're doing this time, we go underneath the, the chains. You're not, um, or should I say underneath the stitches, we're not going the normal way into the V's, we're going directly underneath the V's. So you're going to yarn over and we're going into the second chain from the hook and placing the hook completely underneath it. And you will see the V actually on top. So we're just going underneath that stitch. Again, guys, just to get you a little closer view, you're going to wrap your yarn over, going into the second chain from the hook. You're going to insert it right underneath. You should see the V on top. You're going to then yarn over, pull through. There's three loops. Yarn over, pull through the first two. Yarn over, pull through the second two. And that's your second double crochet. Again, underneath the chain. Or should I say underneath the stitch? Guys, remember, I am still new to teaching this, so but so far, so good. I've gotten a lot of positive feedback, so thank you guys. And I'm trying to bring you very simple, beginner-friendly patterns that you can whip up some good presents and gifts for Christmas or whatever for yourself. 
So now I'm at the second row. It's going to repeat the same way, but I wanted to show you guys or to say it's very important to count because as you can see, if you look at this, the naked eye will say, oh, I'm done at, I'm at the end of the row, but you really aren't. For me, this would be my 80th um, double crochet. So if you count, you will know it's still time to go on. So we want to even up that corner or the end. So you wrap your yarn over, you won't really have or be able to go underneath it um, like the rest of the stitching or the rest of that row. But you just want to go to that one end and you want to do a double crochet to bring it up, to bring it straight. So again, you're going to go right into that loop and do a double crochet and that will even up your stitch. Again, just make sure you count. If you don't understand what I'm saying, if you count, you can't go wrong, okay? We want it as even as possible. And now you're going to chain two. Again, that will serve as your first double crochet for that row. Turn your work and we're going to continue working the same way we did row number two. Wrap the yarn over, go into the second loop from the hook, go underneath that and perform your double crochet. And guys, do that to your desired amount of rows, and then I'll meet you back here because I'm going to finish mine up. All right, guys, so I did a total of seven um, rows. Again, you can tailor this to fit however you want. It's totally up to you. This project is very customizable. So um, just to give you a close-up, and my edges are straight. Sometimes your edges may not look it. As long as you count it, you are fine, and just make sure that they line up right. Now, instead of using a yarn needle, because you don't have to, we're going to, I'm gonna show you how to do this. We're gonna slip stitch it together, okay? It doesn't have to be neat because our knot is gonna go right around it, but I like to be as neat as possible. Totally up to you, don't get frustrated if you cannot do it evenly, um, because we're gonna hide it. So what you're gonna do is just insert your hook from, to the first side and connect the second side. You want to make sure that you stay right on that outer row. Don't go inward too much because then it'll mess it up. Stay right on the outer row and just slip stitch it together. Really simple. You don't even need a yarning needle. So if you don't have to go out and buy one, just, you know, this is the easiest way to do it. And again, we are just slip stitching that entire side together. make sure you have both pieces and just pull the yarn through and you're good to go And I'm just doing it on camera in real time to show you guys. It can be a little difficult sometimes getting through those um, in rows, but take your time, be patient, and um, you'll be able to tackle the task. Okay, okay. So guys, once you're done, we get to the end. Um, we're going to actually move this aside to create the knot. But also what I want you to know, I'm going to cut my yarn. You do not do that. Do not cut your string because if you do, it's not going to be as easy to use um, the needle. 
the hook, should I say, you're going to have to use a needle. So it's totally up to you. But I forgot that I was going to show you guys how to do this without using a yarn needle. Um, the next part. So don't cut your string um, if you don't want to. But that was an error on my behalf. So we're going on to create the knot basically the same way, creating our slip knot. And we are going to chain nine. So this is what this is. is nine chains, nine rows, and you will have nine double crochets across each row. So just remember nine, nine, nine. And this is going to go exactly the same way as the actual head band pattern so once you have your nine chains like before you're going to do your double crochet into the third chain from the hook so we're going right into that one we're going to yarn over go in pull through yarn over pull through the first two yarn over pull through the second two and continue that throughout that row Alright guys, so now that we're at the end, just wanted to show you guys again what we do. You chain two, you're going to rotate your work, and you are going into the second chain from the hook now because that first chain two is a double crochet, and you're just going to go underneath and continue the pattern. So once you get to the second row, that's when you're going to have, um, you're going to be able to go underneath that stitch from the previous row and continue double crocheting until you reach nine rows. Again, you may have to adjust it depending on what or who you're making the projects for. So if you guys don't really know how to adjust, um, you can hit me in the comments and ask me or tell me how many rows you did or the sizes and I can kind of guesstimate what type of knot you need to create. So now what we're gonna do um, this is the part where it's going to be a little bit difficult if you don't have the yarning needle and you cut like I did. But either way, you're going to pretty much just cinch in the middle where the stitching is. So your knot will fit comfortably around that. Okay? And it won't, you know, pull on it. Pull on it. <clears throat> so I had to use a yarning needle. And I'm just going to kind of cinch it all together. If you still had your um, string, you would just do it with your actual hook. If you still had your string attached, you would do it with your actual hook. It does not have to be neat. Again, this is going to be covered up. It's just a way to kind of cinch it together and create um, almost like a bow looking headband. And that's what I'm doing. We're cinching it right at the middle. And you don't have to do too much. Once I got that little bit in, I'm going to tie it off couple times and then I'm going to snip it and guys it's really cute just like this I'm going to turn it inside out which would be the correct way to wear it I mean if you wanted to leave it like this and just have like the twisted headband that's perfect as well I think it's really cute but I want to go a little bit further and do the put the knot over it so what you're going to do is place your stitching of the knot right underneath that make sure that you keep your hat inside out or your headband inside out at this point and we're going to just go ahead and do a slip stitch over that the rest of the project so you're going to take your hook and the same way we slip stitch the actual headband together we're going to do the same thing with the knot you're just doing it right over the headband so that it's secure and it does not move So really simple and that's why it was important to kind of cinch that um, middle of the headband together so that this will go over it perfectly um, we'll further cinch it in and just hold it and it'll create a little cute bow for you guys
once you're done, you pull it through, pull your string through once you get to the end. I like to tie mine off and secure it a couple of times. And real easy with this one, you just snip it and voila. So now we're going to turn it inside out, well, basically the right way. And there you have this cute headband, guys. This was so simple and easy. And I think it's really, really cute for a gift or, you know, even for yourself, you can whip up a quick scarf to go with it and you are good to go. So if you guys like videos like this, make sure you thumbs up, make sure you share, make sure you subscribe. I'm going to try to get into doing mittens because gloves are giving me a headache. But um, let me know below if there's something in particular that you want to see as well. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. Be blessed and most importantly, be a blessing. L-W-L. Ooh, ooh, L. <laughs> see you guys.